Hi everyone, it's uh, Luke here from Eurisco Studios and uh, today I just wanted to um, introduce you to some of the new features that are going to be in version 1.2 of VRoom. Uh, some of these features are a new radial mode, uh, UV stretching of rooms, there have been improvements with F-Prime, so uh, that should be a whole lot more stable now, and last but not least, as you can probably tell, is the uh, the Mac version. So uh, what I thought with this video as well was just to take a slightly different uh, route than other videos. I'm not just going to talk about the specific features. Um, they'll be in the video obviously, but um, I take the approach of doing a little bit of modeling as well because a lot of people seem to have uh, a little bit of confusion when initially starting up using VRoom. Um, so I just thought I'd do some of the modeling side of things and show you just a very, very, very quick um, building uh, to, to see how, how quickly as well that you can, uh, you can get fairly decent looking renders. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to start making a, a very quick building here um, to show off the, the, new, new, the uh, new radial mode. I'm going to make it a circular building. So let's start off with a disk placed at the center. Let's make this... in fact I'll come over to the numeric panel. Let's make this 5 by 5 Let's have the top 2 meters and just the one segment. Okay. And hit enter there. Obviously, I've planned some of this out beforehand, so you can probably guess. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one sort of section of the building, and then I'm just going to duplicate it upwards. So, knife across the middle there, just below the middle, and the idea is that these windows here will, these polys here, sorry, will end up being windows, and these ones down here will end up being. Um, just parts of the, the building structure. So first of all I'm going to select all of these and give them, give them a new surface windows. I'm just going to change the color as well. There we are. Okay. Just going to clean up there, because we don't need that. Okay. What I might do as well, just to be a little bit more fancy for no reason. Just move that down there. Okay. I think before we do that, let's do smooth that face out a little, just to give a little lip. Okay, that looks alright to me. Something that I wanted to do with the windows as well, is to give them a bit of a frame, because of the way VRoom works, you see all these windows, uh, they're all joined at the vertex or the, the uh, vertices. So what VRoom will do is it looks for um, islands of polygons, if you will. So, and it'll make rooms out of those. And as all of these polygons are joined together, it'll make this into one room. So what you could do to make all of these window polygons separate rooms is just unweld. Um, but what I'm going to do is just to bevel them in ever so slightly. Give a new surface there as well and bevel them in again. There we go. That's a new surface there. Just color that ever so slightly differently. Okay. 
here. So I've got the leftover surface that was the default surface from our previous experiment. So I'll just change that. Let's change it to default. Save this just in case. This guy there needs to be zero one. Okay, I think we're probably ready to duplicate this up now. So let's get rid of that. Let's come out of it. Multiply. Let's go to array. And I want about 15 floors making this building 30 meters tall. Also, going to do is just I'd like to put a cap on the top. I'm going to do put some nernies up there or something like that. Sugar. Select loop. Polygon. Okay, let's change that to default. Extend that up a little bit. You usually find as well that lots of skyscraper, well, well this is a skyscraper, but tall buildings seem to have lots of repetition along the center, but they usually have a different sort of style down the bottom and different random things at the top. So that's just what I'm going to do here. Let's just make a few little extra bits. I'm just making this up as I go along. Just so there's something up there. There you go, you can make that into a penthouse or something. Let's try that again. <laughs> Trying to model too fast. Okay. So what I'm just going to do is grab these, grab the loop. I'm going to give them the windows as well. Time's nearly up as well, so I'm just going to very quickly make a bottom foyer. I'll just do that by very quickly beveling. Let's turn off new surface and then bevel down. That looks okay. I'm just going to grab this loop as well. I'm going to give it a new surface. Let's call this Windows Foyer. Now, remember what I said before about looking for where VRoom constructs rooms by looking for islands of polygons. Again, all of these polygons here are joined up, as are the ones up the top actually. So I'll sort them out. But if we just concentrate on these ones for a moment. All of these are joined, so this will all be one room, and we don't really want that because you'll be able to see sort of straight through, and V room won't be really uh, be used to great effect, shall we say. So I'm just going to divide this up quickly into four rooms, and the way I'm going to do that is just deselect some polygons here on this side in that quadrant. And I'll deselect these ones here. And so we've got these ones on opposite sides. And I'm going to cut them and then paste them straight back in. So now what we'll have here is this quadrant will be a room, this quadrant will be a room, etc. etc. And I'm also going to make some pillar type things. Let's skip two, skip two. 
thing. Let's see. And I'm just going to very, very quickly do this by beveling real quick and beveling again. about there. Save. There we go. That'll do. I'll sort out the uh, bit on the top in time for the next video. But yeah, there you go. That's a very, very basic building knocked up very quickly. And I'll see you in the next video.